Excellent. I'm excited to see that you're interested to learn a lot more about EMFs or electronic pollution with an eye on doing something professional with this knowledge. My name is Patrick Vandenberg. I'm a domestic radiation specialist, author, international speaker on this subject, and trainer in EMF radiation assessment and mitigation. All right, so this is you know, our little demonstration room. You know, we've got a bed parked against the wall. Um, you know, your typical sort of wiring inside the wall and your typical sort of electric field exposure. After a family crisis with cancer, my path led me to investigate EMFs and environmental medicine, the study of how the environment affects health. Geovital is a natural health clinic in Austria, which has developed a specific approach of assessing and made many solutions against EMFs, all with their patients as the benchmark for success. Okay, let me uh, show you around a little bit. Here are uh, facilities in, uh, in Austria. We've got the Academy uh, building over here. And then uh, if we just pan to the left, we've got the, uh, the other building uh, behind it. This is, uh, for example, also where the mattresses uh, are being uh, made. All right, so uh, let's go inside. Okay, so this is uh, the first part is where the, uh, the offices uh, are and we get of course lots of emails, lots of inquiries and uh, also lots of phone calls which takes uh, a decent amount of time to handle uh, each day. So we, uh, we do our best. Um, yeah, offices uh, down here down the stairs is uh, where the clinic uh, is. Um, next to that we have uh, a training room for the students when they uh, come in here. So we have um, you know, a typical sort of bed up, bed set up. We've got electrical wiring in the wall as per usual. Uh, we have a bedside light, and as you see, of course, there's a little bedside light uh, cable attached to that. And so uh, what the students will see is that when somebody lies in the bed and we measure for those uh, electric fields, that uh, the electric fields don't go away when we turn the bedside light on or off. Uh, because the wiring in the wall is already enough to inundate that body with electric fields. And um, we have then a circuit cutoff switch uh, installed in the box over there. And um, that's on the circuit that's causing the problem. And this switch cuts the power to a circuit when it's not in use. And uh, that makes the electric fields go away when you then do turn the bedside light off. So it's really quite awesome. So anyway, so this is yeah, just a, a training room to uh, you know, demonstrate that to, uh, to the students. All right, so then walking further in the office, um, more offices with Sasha, <laughs> All right, and then, um, you know, to uh, make uh, the breaks nice, we've got a little, uh, little entertainment area, so a really gorgeous, uh, gorgeous setup. And then here we go uh, onto the balcony, and that's uh, really quite something to behold. The view, uh, you wouldn't imagine so, but the view changes all the time. Just with the weather, the uh, you know, mist, clouds, and uh, yeah, just a uh, nice little location. Gorgeous to teach in and uh, certainly also to learn in. And then here uh, takes us to the, uh, the classroom. I'm the director of GeoVital International and I look after GeoVital's interests and our consultants outside Europe. Health Stronghold is kind of my personal connection with my followers and also the name of the podcast channel that I have. Today we'll be talking about radio frequency radiation. I've done assessment and mitigation projects for existing and new built homes for years. Here we are at the building site here in Thailand. that you can provide you know, a gorgeous sleeping environment the way it should be. Okay, so the good news about electric fields is that they can be shielded against by placing a grounded material in its path. I assisted average families, celebrities, corporate high flyers, and even royalty on how to improve their home environment. 
In this course, you'll be able to work yourself through nearly the same content we cover in our live courses, but to a large extent at your own pace. And you'll be able to revisit this information for as long as we keep hosting the courses here. Hello there. Thank you for your interest in this course. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. It's very exciting. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a groundbreaking new sort of learning method on, on getting your teeth stuck into the professional level information about electronic pollution or EMF. So how does this work? Um, I used to teach a, well, of course I teach live courses, which are awesome to attend, attend but it's very intense, a lot of information packed together. Uh, and it is something eventually you want to do. Um, but I also taught a online course where for 22, 24 hours over four or five sessions, uh, we would go, out, go over all this information, uh, which was also fairly intense. Um, but the tricky thing was that you needed to be able to be free in those six hour or uh, you know six hour slots, which was a little bit difficult. So we wanted to create an online course, um, but then there's no guidance, which is also possible, you know, depending on, on what how deep you want to delve into this. Um, but anyway, we made something that was the best of both worlds. So how this works. There's a, an online uh, comprehensive system with lots of information that we would teach in our live courses. This is released to you in stages. So all the students, and we, we all have the same starting date. So we, um, we, we go into these sections and we concentrate on what needs to be concentrated on. At the end of that section, a week later, for example, um, there'll be an online meeting where we'll review the knowledge you've gone over We'll have reviewed the questions that you've answered, so we have a basis for your understanding already. We know what to review. You can ask your questions, and there may even be one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings with either myself or some of my senior consultants, so we can guide you one-on-one -on -one in terms of your learning process, questions you may have, or maybe something you're trying to fix and you've got particular questions about. Uh, there's a dedicated Facebook group for my students only where you can post your questions you know when there's no meeting going on and uh, we'll be monitoring that and answering your questions in there as well. Um, we also have office hours available so um, re at regular intervals we'll have an online meeting also beyond this course so if you did the course and didn't quite you know, got involved straight away and you wanted to kind of keep in touch or ask more questions, go back into the information and ask questions still. You can still do that with office hours. So you just send your questions ahead. Those questions will be answered um, you know, and in the order they come in basically. And uh, you know, we'll all be there, webcams on, which is great and fun. And uh, you might be invited to um, you know, elaborate on your question or delve a little deeper. Um, so yeah, so in the course, we get the information in sections. We have an online meeting to review. Um, there may be one-on-one -on -one meetings. There may be video assignments that you need to record and submit, which is all good fun, all to help you verbalize the knowledge you've gained and for us to gauge your understanding of it. And then the next section comes and we do this again, next section comes and so on. There's even an opportunity for those who've purchased the measuring instrumentation, um, that if they have that during the course, that we can organize a assessment for you to do an assessment in your house with the instrumentation whilst we look over your shoulder and give you guidance and pointers on how to do the assessment whilst the other students also look along and, and learn from it. So it's all very exciting. So anyway, um, I think we've put something amazing together. Um, it is limited as always to a number of students. Uh, I don't believe in humongous classes with lots and lots of people. Uh, so we're limited to a, a small number of people that we can take per intake, let's say, and we'll go, all go through this process and then you know, we'll start over with the next group. So if this is something you like um, and the, uh, you know, the, the um, times for the online meetings uh, works for you, um, then I recommend you to uh, kind of jump in, secure your spot and, uh, and uh, yeah, commit to doing the course. So anyway, thank you for your interest. I'm excited and uh, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, we can make the world a better place together. Thanks.